Greetings. All right, y'all. I'm going to do something a little different, y'all. So if I was to give your person a reading, this is what I would say. So this is not a pick a card reading. If you guys want to see this as a pick a card reading, just comment below. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings, whether or not you guys would like to see this as a pick a card reading. And, you know, I got you, but I'm going to keep this general. So some of the messages may resonate with you. Some of them may not, or it just may happen to be that it does not resonate whatsoever. And that is completely okay. That just means it's not a message for you at this time in this reading. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in to your um, <clears throat> situation. What is the overall energy? And yeah, we'll call it a call it a read after that, okay? So let's see. I'm going to use my own deck here and I'm gonna ask Spirit, what does this person, you and this person situation, what is the energy surrounding it? And then I'm going to read as if I was reading for them, okay? If I was to give them a reading about you, what would I say is the theme, okay? Holy Spirit, thank you for your divine wisdom, divine truth, divine clarity. Okay, a lot of you guys are asking about someone that you believe knows the truth about your situation or your connection. Um, yeah, divine counterparts when I split the deck with spiritual growth. Like, you know that this person is aware or this, it doesn't have to be that this is necessarily the truth. This is just what you feel. This is what you believe or what you think. If this is your reading, you know. If it's not, I'm not telling you something you don't feel or you don't know. I'm not here to be like, yeah, this is how you feel. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, what you already know, if this is meant for you, you'll know. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting. This is a situation where you might be dealing with someone that is a bit, like, stubborn or that you might deem is, like, um, like, kind of running from their feelings or afraid to confront their feelings about you or the situation or afraid to really be in this connection. Holy Spirit, what is the energy? Okay. I just heard the name Martin, 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 could be Martine as well, Martinez. Okay, soul tie, karmic cycle, spiritual test, generational wealth and health, clothes for spiritual maintenance, and healthy inner child. Okay. So this situation, there could be a karmic cycle that is constantly repeating. For some of you, this is someone you have a soul tie with, um, where it kind of makes you feel stuck. You feel like you can't get off the wheel. You can't get away from this person or like a repetitive situation, repetitive experience. I do feel like someone is being kind of tested in how they handle this next cycle. I feel like... There could be some generational trauma, some generational patterns that are not healthy that are playing out that I feel like spirit is kind of testing you or your person or both of you to see how you heal through this because there could be a lot of inner child stuff that you are working through right now. And I feel like spirit is saying now is not really the time perhaps for you guys to try to initiate some type of new energy, a new beginning with this person. If it's meant to, it's not right now. Okay. There's a lot of healing that is taking place and needs to take place because it's like if these certain wounds that are coming up are not being addressed, this cycle is repeating itself. OK. All right. So let's get into your person's reading. If I was to give this person a reading, what would I say about you? <laughs> a reading about you. Holy Spirit, work through me. I cast on any vein and false imaginations, false guidance, as false truth, or any high thing that tries to be called to self against the knowledge of living and truth of you. Jesus, my name, amen. Thank you to my spiritual team who lovingly got. There's a card that is already flipped up, and I'm going to take it. Divine Feminine came out. So you could be the Divine Feminine, or this reading um, I'm giving is to a Divine Feminine about their divine masculine but take it how it resonates i'm going to keep pulling until i get the cards that i need
This song always be like in my head. I don't even have to hear it, but it's LL. I think it's LL Cool J's Who Do You Love? I think that's what it's called. It might not be. That might not be the name, but it, um, it's LL Cool J featuring Total. And that song is like in my head. So it could be. Yeah, somebody is needing to contemplate like, what do they really want? Who do they really love? And for some of you, it could be like this person is dealing with another person, another party. I don't know who be watching Dr. Umar, but I'm kind of getting a Dr. Umar vibe from this. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop with that card. So you have the Uranian the therapist the transformation card and the catfish card okay <clears throat> let's pull some tarot on this the number five could be relevant number five the number six could be relevant seven of swords nine of wands ten of pentacles the strength card Okay, so now I'm going to read as if I'm reading for your person about you. Some of this may not be completely about you. Maybe just, you know, obviously things that needs to be said. Okay. All right. This person you're asking about, they are a divine feminine. They are loving they are very wise, very spiritually in tune, but you know this about them already. You may, you may be dealing with three different feminine energies here. One of them, I feel like it's someone that's a more free-spirited person. This is not someone, this is more like a homegirl that maybe you have um, ties to romantically or you used to, but this person is still in your energy field for some reason. Then you have someone that you may have a child with or someone that is, I feel like this is the divine feminine that's going through this transformation and this process of healing, dealing with their inner child. They are alchemizing the situation. They're trans, they are transmuting their past traumas and pains and turning their beauty into ashes. This person is going through a spiritual transformation. There's another feminine energy that you're dealing with that could be catfishing you. And I'm not getting like a physical catfish. I'm getting an energetic catfish, someone that is projecting to be the divine feminine and they are not that. This is someone that I feel like is very full of themselves. This is someone that has a low self-esteem. They may project that they're confident. I feel like this person likes a lot of attention. This could be someone that you know does not have the best, best self-esteem, but you still tell this woman or this man, but I'm getting a woman, you tell this woman that she's, you know, this and that. And I feel like to pump her head up to kind of get things out of her, get, get your way with her. This could be someone that deals with body dysmorphia, this catfish energy, this person that they don't know who they are. And I feel like you can be a manipulative person when it comes to these feminines. Okay. You are, maybe you watch a lot of male, um, content, a lot of toxic masculine content. In my opinion, Dr. Umar is a toxic content creator. I'm just, I feel like he's toxic. Kevin Samuels, Andrew Tate, all of them give me toxic masculinity you might be operating in this toxic manner and I feel that you're you're being kind of called out by spirit with the seven of swords here I feel like there's a you have a lot of animal messengers here and some of this is also your ego with the strength card being here and I feel like there's a feminine energy that is going to put you in there in your place if it's not the person that you are seeking or asking about someone's going to put you in your place the ten of pentacles for some of you i feel like there is this energy 
um, some type of transformation that may take place in your home life or with your mother or there's some type of healing in that area. But the Nine of Wands spirit knows that you are someone that has been hurt plenty of times yourself. And you're being called to grow up and to level up past this energy. You might be encouraged to slow down. You might be moving too fast in some way. You don't allow yourself to be present and to hear and feel your energy without um, externalizing it somewhere else. You have a lot of um, nines and eights. Actually, sorry, you have a lot of nines here. You have sixes here, you have five. So there's a need for you to grow and master something here. And I'm also seeing that there could be progression, but I feel like you have to start with facing these self deceptions or the fact that you do deceive, which is not, you know, it's not healthy. But the strength card, you have the eight, well, seven of swords, seven, strength card, eight, nine of wands, and 10. There's a energy of progression or an opportunity to do that. But there's something that spirit feels you need to see <clears throat> that you're not seeing. And I feel like it starts with your upbringing, okay? It starts with your upbringing. Let's see. like you're in denial about some type of truth with your home life you have the eight of cups yeah emotionally you haven't released you haven't surrendered spirit is saying you have not surrendered you have not reached that place where you you have broken down and surrendered and let go of your pride let go of the emotions that you're holding on to so that you can be free yeah the emperor i feel like it's, this is a double meaning. I feel like three messages from this. Getting that this is you and your full divine masculine energy within yourself. You tapping into that divinity and stepping into who you were called to be. And I feel like you know this about yourself. And I feel like you kind of play the fence a lot when it comes to fully operating in your divinity or being that which you're called to be. Because... There's a part of you that doesn't feel like you're worthy. And I feel like this is connected to a father figure as well. And I also feel that this is God, divine source spirit talking to you as well. And really, really encouraging you to release and let go of your pride. Five of cups. Spirit knows the pain that you've carried as a child. You may have felt like you didn't get a chance to be a child. You may have felt like you had to grow up very young. You had a lot of um, responsibilities on your back. Somebody's name could be Cash or their nickname is Cash or Cache, Kelsey, Chelsea. Someone's name could be Harris or last name is Harris. Someone could have a French last name. But I'm getting that you there's a need for you to purify and cleanse yourself of the energy you've been carrying. I'm getting a strong Scorpio energy from this as well. There's a heaviness that you carry from your past. The woman or the, I hate to keep saying woman, but that's what I'm sensing. The feminine energy that you're asking about you could learn something from this person and in particular something about their inner child you or this person may share similar inner child wounds or childhood experiences one of you could have been the only child i feel like this feminine could have been the only child or they were an independent child maybe the eldest or the youngest where it was just them at some point. You might be guided to seek therapy. You do need a male 
getting a strong male figure to help you mentally or to speak life into you or to be an accountability for you and some not accountability in the sense that you don't take responsibility but someone that holds you accountable thank you spirit someone that will hold you accountable um to keep going and to motivate you and to encourage you it's kind of like a big brother type of vibe that i get from this someone professionally that has your best intentions what do you want this person to know about this um, friend this female friend this is a free fit spirit person this friend could be bisexual this female ally is someone that i feel like you have had a sexual relationship with in in the past maybe you kind of use them to get some some pull because i'm getting this person is like a free spirit they could be bisexual i'm getting that they're currently dating women for the most part they're not really dating men right now yeah the queen of cups this person could be a cancer pisces or scorpio um this is someone maybe you known as in your childhood the eight of pentacles you may work with this person as well what do you want me to tell this person thank you the catfish the knave of wands which is the page of wands and the ace of wands this is someone that you only have sexual dealings with this person could be a capricorn a taurus an aries a sag person that you are messing around with it's like there's something that you're getting for free from this person this person um you don't have to work or do anything in order to get things out of this person. I feel like spirit is saying you're operating and you're being childish. You're being extremely childish. This transformation card, this feminine in this card, what do you want them to know about this feminine? The Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. This is someone that you question whether or not you could you you should commit to this person. You go back and forth whether or not this is the person for you. You may feel like you don't measure up to this person. You feel like you're not who you should be for this person. And it's really part of it is because you're juggling more than one woman. There's two women here, this two of pentacles, and then there's you. You're juggling between two different archetypes of women or the person that maybe you truly want to invest in versus those that you're kind of like allowing to invest, invest into you. And you can't play both sides, Spirit is saying. You can't be double-minded. You can't serve two masters. So your two masters is your soul versus your ego, your lower self. Your lower self must submit to your higher self. This hierophant is Osiris, and I feel like that is the higher aspect of the divine masculine energy. Then you have the lower self. So this energy, I feel like, is for any of you who may resonate with this, because um, I'm picking up on... Some of you guys, this person is a, a, a woman, this transformation card is someone you already have a child with that you may love and want to settle down with. Maybe you're already married to this person, but you got some other stuff going on here. That's not right. But it's like your lower self is needing to submit to the higher self and to be with this person, this woman in the transformation card or this feminine in this transformation card means that you're gonna have to let go of the double lifestyle. And also to honor your highest self, your true self, who you were called to be. You're playing a peasant, but that's not who you were called to be. So I'm going to um, reshuffle. I'm gonna put all these energies back. So the person you're asking about, let's see if there's anything else <clears> that spirit wants to say to you. The person that you're asking about, Holy Spirit. Okay. This is a creative person. 
they have tattoos. I feel like this is, for some of you, this is someone that, let me see, yep. Yep. This is someone that knows that you guys are counterparts or they believe that you guys are counterparts. I'm getting that if you are a darker skinned masculine, the feminine's lighter skinned. If you're a lighter skinned masculine, the feminine is darker skinned. And there's something with like colored eyes, a male with colored eyes, because he has colored eyes and I'm just like paying attention to the back of the card and I feel like that's standing out to me. The Twin Flames card, y'all, I don't really, I don't sit on that label, but I get what, what spirit is insinuating. Growth, earth, and message. So the more you heal, the more you grow, the more you're going to get clarity and confirmations about the situation and get direction and guidance. Um, there's definitely something with the number six. This person could be an earth sign or you could be an earth sign, but I'm getting until you get out of that cycle that you've been in and level up past it you're going to continue to be confused about which way to go in your life which path to take you might be confused about this feminine that you're asking about i feel like you love this feminine it could be another feminine energy around you as well the ace of cups yeah you love this feminine um, but there's another feminine around that you could be entertaining as well. Again, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's these all these opportunities for you to have brand new, to start fresh, to start new, start over. But you keep continuously repeating the same cycles. Six of Wands, the Temperance. Yeah, you will not have healing and victory until you heal. Until you do the necessary work with the temperance, you have spiritual assistance, you have spiritual help, but it's up to you and you are going to have to let go of your pride and your ego. There's a part of you that may feel like you're, it's like this extreme independence. You could be a fixed sign, but I'm getting a Leo potentially. You could be a Leo. And because you've gone through a ladder, you feel like you've been your own support system for so long. You don't need anything or anyone. Um... And that is kind of messing you up here because you're not allowing the, you know, the divine help that you have available at your disposal. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you lesser than. So, yeah. So I'm going to pull an advice card and see what your guidance is in regards to the person that you're asking about. Share advice. From spirit what is this person's advice match where do I give and receive so you're being called out <laughs> by spirit because there's something about the people around you you're taking more than you give and that's going to backfire and you have to it's something about spirit calling you for you have to grow you have to grow up you have to level up past this and really sit with yourself and ask yourself, where am I placing my energy and where am I taking energy? And is it excessive in one way or another? Am I giving too much or am I giving too little? Am I receiving too much or am I receiving too little? Okay. All right. So that was their reading. So I'm tapping back. I'm tapping out of that and I'm tapping back into the viewer. Technically, you're a cross watcher. So I'm going to ask Spirit, what is your advice when it comes to this person that I just gave a reading to about you? I hope I'm making sense. I'm not confusing y'all. And let me know, like I said, if you guys want to see this as a, um, a pick a card, then let me know. All right, let's see. The viewer's advice. What is ready for action? Dive with the red tail hawk. So you guys might be called to take some sort of action. It doesn't have to be towards this person, but something connected to the situation that you're being called to or you will be called to. Um, 
I feel like both of you guys may receive some type of message from nature, like nature spirits, like animals, animal messengers, something in nature um, is going to get your attention. So I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. Um, if that was too vague, let me know and I'll do a paper card if you guys would like. I'm currently on break from um, personal reads until January the 9th. I will be back doing personal reads again. So if you guys um, feel like you absolutely need, um, I don't know, if you guys absolutely need some time to, <sighs> did I say the 9th? Yeah, I don't. Mm, hold on, because I think I got my dates wrong. I got my dates wrong. Yeah, I did. Okay, so January 9th. Um, if you guys need an emergency read, I am available for emergency reads. Just email me first before you guys do that. But other than that, um, I'm taking a break. So I will catch you guys in the next video. When I come back from break, readings will be available again. Um, it's a book. So much love to you guys. Be blessed. Be safe. Take care. Peace.